Nation. You hear the news? Skullgirl's been going after all those families in Maplecrest. Looks like this new Skullgirl's got a bone to pick with the boss. Where's he gone anyway, huh? Think the rumors of him getting sick are true? Hold up. Look, there she is. That fish folk dame we were sent to find. Hey, Goily. Can we get some, uh, service over here? Yes. May I help you, sir? Hey, now. You're quite the dish. I'd like to eat you up. <laughs> Why don't you swim over here with a couple free drinks? And we hit the town. I I'm sorry, but I need to work. You know, you are pretty cute. What a stinky kill girl. Is everything okay over here? Are these guys bugging you, Manette? Go find yourself a sandbox, kitty. We're just having a friendly chat with the little minnow here. Leave. Now. Or I'll throw you out myself. Can't you take a clue, you flea-bitten tot? Clearly you don't know who you're messing with. <laughs> Did you see that? That stupid cat didn't stand a chance. What the? Never mind, huh? We found what we're looking for. Let's get back and tell Batali. Ah! You okay, Manette? They didn't hurt you, did they? That was amazing! What would I do without you? Thanks for scaring them off, Nadia. Your next dinner is on me. Actually, I think it's time I make my move and follow them. I've got to catch me a skull girl. And it sounds like Mafia Goons are the perfect bait to draw her out. Sounds very dangerous! Be careful out there. You're like family to us, you know? Nadia, do you really think the Skull Heart can bring your friends back? There's only one way to find out. See you around, Yu Yan, and give my regards to your dad, Manette! Everybody warmed up? Action! <laughs> Worse. 
here. That's quite the body you've got there, kitty. <laughs> Sorry, creepy lady. I'm not interested. Oh, don't get the wrong idea. I was just admiring your scars. You've been cut clean through several times over. No one could survive that. Yet here you are, walking, talking, and shedding. Whatever's animating you could be invaluable to my research. Let's perform an autopsy and see what makes you tick. you, but I've seen all that I need to see. And I'm sure the analysis of this blood will prove most enlightening. You just don't stop, do you? Lady Valentine, the Skull Girl has requested your presence out of her control. A nurse and a nun. Huh, where have I heard this joke before? I'll be there soon, Double. Return and let Marie know that I found Lorenzo. His minions led me right to him. I just had to stop and perform a little experiment on our feline friend here. Very well. Take care, Kitty. We'll have a follow-up visit as soon as these tests come back from the lab. So, the schoolgirl is hiding out at the Grand Cathedral, is she? Never was one for churches, but here I'll make an exception. We'll be back together soon enough, guys. <laughs> Cameras rolling and action! <laughs> So, this is the Grand Cathedral, eh? Now, what's a schoolgirl like you doing in a place like this? She followed me home, Double. Can I keep her? You again! Don't you have an appointment with the schoolgirl? Indeed, I did. But I'm afraid we've got a scheduling conflict. As it turns out, you've got an appointment on my dissection table, right about now. Let's not be late, or I'll have to get my spray bottle. You couldn't beat me before, so what makes you think you can now? Yes, my previous experiment was a failure, but I've got my lab assistant to help this time around. May the Trinity have mercy on this poor, lost soul. The nun is your lab assistant? I hate to break it to you, lady, but you're not going to get much science out of this one. Your experience will have to wait, Valentine. She is a candidate. A candidate, you say? Even better. Come on, Kitty. The doctor will see you now. Curiosity can't kill me. This battle is all in the mind! Action! 
Alright, Skullgirl, you know why I'm here. I do. So, no offense, but you're the last thing standing between me and my family. So let's get this show on the road! I too have lost much to the Medicis. Do you not seek vengeance? Wishes such as yours rarely turn out well. I've got to try. The Fishbone Gang raised me, protected me, and taught me everything I know. The least I can do is return the favor. Your instincts are admirable. My wish was also to protect my friends. Look, I'm gonna have to stop you before you get to the we're a lot alike you and I bit. I've come too far to turn around, so it's time to claw that heart out of you. So be it. I hope your wish turns out well.
edition. Quiet on the set. Showtime. Oh! <laughs> 
see how weak you are. This is it. I... I can't do it. I have so many new friends in Little Innsmouth. Terrible as it was, what happened happened and made me who I am today. Changing that would be... wrong. That's what the skull heart is here for, isn't it? To tempt us into doing the wrong thing. Marie said her wish was similar, and look how she turned out. This stops here! A temporary setback. This world will always be cursed by a Skull Heart. And so shall it always be cursed with Skull Girls. Until this world exists no more. Hmm. All that for a life lesson? How annoying. Well, better go check in on everyone back in Little Innsmouth. Get some food. I'm exhausted. Union, I'm back. I'm starving. It's time for that free meal you promised. Bring me the full Lucky Family Banquet. Nadia! There you are! Minette has been kidnapped. All the River King's daughters, and others too. Little Innsmouth is in a panic. What? Who would dare do such a thing? That's where I come in. My name is Irvin. I'm a private detective. The River King hired me to find his daughters, so if you have any information that might help, I'd appreciate it if you shared it. The proprietor of this fine establishment was telling me that there have been numerous Mafia sightings in the area recently. That's the only lead we've got, but kidnapping certainly fits the mob's M.O. We're at a loss as to why they'd be targeting Dagonian women, though. The Mafia! Maybe Marie had it right all along. Urban, I'm coming with you. Those black-hearted bastards already took one family for me. And like hell, I'm going to let them do it again. Hang in there, Minette. We'll find you. Despite being mutilated. Hands off that! Did you hear that? Sorry.
soil contamination stabilized. Begin implanting the control mechanism. Her body seems to have fully assimilated the Skullgirl's blood, Doctor. Implantation complete. No signs of rejection, Doctor. Good. Establishing control. Now. Obey Lab Zero. Find the Skull Girl and destroy her. Retrieve the Skull Heart and return it to Lab Zero. My dad is like a total space cadet. Quiet on the set! Action! See, that's 19 Medici affiliated families in Maplecrest. Maria's going to have a field day with this. You, Valentine! It was you! You're the one that took this life from me! Well, if it isn't Subject 084. What did Brain Drain call you again? Oh, right. Pain Wheel. It's been swell, Pain Wheel, but I'm busy. Turn around and head back to the lab. No! No? You've been programmed to obey your Lab Zero creators without fail. How can you resist my order? Let's try this again. Invoking Command Protocol 51, access code 36E2540. I order you to return to Lab Zero and forget that you ever saw me. Ah, get out of my head! Code accepted. Command Protocol 51 initiated. Overriding autonomous control. No! I'm so close! Valentine is right there! I can make her pay for what she did to me! And what's this? I can sense the Skullgirl's aura on her. Resistance detected. Subjugating and sequestering resident ego. Oh my god, we got the same outfit! This is true love we're making! Action! <laughs> Ha! <laughs> 
enough to fight brain drains control. I can feel the skull girl on you, Valentine. Now that just won't do. It would seem I've been hanging around Marie too long and have been tainted with her ethereal stink. The skull girl blood in you must be reacting to that. But I wonder, perhaps there's more to that blood than we knew. Let's conduct a little experiment. Come to the Grand Cathedral of the Divine Trinity. I'll be waiting, and so will the Skull Girl. See you there. Hey girl, where were you Friday night? This battle is all in the mind. Let's rock! Subject 084, initiate command protocol 51, access code 36E2540. I order you to return to Lab Zero immediately. <laughs> it won't work, Valentine. I'm in control now. Amazing. It would seem my theory was correct. Your blood is resonating with the Skull Girl. The closer you get to her, the stronger your psyche becomes. Enough experiments! It's time for you to pay for what you did to me! We, Valentine, must dispose of this aberration at once. No, leave her to me. The least I can do is put her down myself. I did create her, after all. Very well. I'm gonna cut you to ribbons! I'd love to wear that uniform, but touching sick people is grody. Ladies and gentlemen, it's showtime! <laughs> 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 Like, I don't know. Battle ready for your shots? Dead 
Excellent. You're ready. I had my doubts, but I think it's time you challenge Marie. Go! The Skullgirl awaits in the catacombs below. Why should I listen to you? Do you want freedom? Do you want to reclaim the boring, humdrum life we stole from you? Until the Skullgirl is defeated, no one is truly free, and you have the strength to stop her. You're right. But don't think for a second this is over, Valentine. I will find you. Skullgirl! I'm here to destroy you! How curious. Evil people made you into a monster, but you broke free of their control. Yet you still wish to do their bidding? This is my choice! Brain Drain, Valentine, this cursed blood within me, I don't give a damn. Tearing you apart is the only true path to freedom!
is why my life was taken from me. You poor, miserable child. I can return your life to you. I will not be enslaved by you, Lab Zero, or anyone! Your freedom is an illusion. This changes nothing. It's over. I can go home. Mom? Dad? It's me! Monster! Get out of here, monster! Ping Wheel, return to Lab Zero. We have much to discuss. Do you really think you can control me? The truth is... You're next! <laughs>